everybody! Today we're going to be learning how to sew. Our materials that we're using today are plastic canvas, which you might recognize uh, for when we did our texture rubbing, and we're using pipe cleaners. So for sewing, what you're doing is you are threading or stitching one material through another material. And uh, what we're going to be practicing today is something called a running stitch. So running stitch is where we're going to be going in and out, in and out, in a pattern. And so to start our stitch off, you can just pick a box that you want to go in and reach your hand around the back side to pull. Now you don't want to pull too hard because you want to leave this tail here. And the nice thing about pipe cleaners is they are bendable. So we could just bend that around the edge so that it stays in place. Now to come back up, we want to pick a number that you're going to use for your pattern. And so on this pink line above here, I picked three. So every three, third box, I counted one, two, three, in, one, two, three, out, one, two, three, in, one, two, three, out. And I'm going to pick a different number for this one. So I think I'm going to count over five boxes. I'm going to poke up through box number five from the back that's where my thread is right now or my pipe cleaner and I'm going to pull all the way through see okay so I've just made a stitch you might have heard of stitches before if you've ever gotten a big owie and you had to go to the emergency room or saw a doctor to fix a big owie I'm counting over five again now I'm above so I'm going to be going down I can pull through the back just to help me out there all right there's my next stitch. And now I'm just going to repeat this. Whenever you're on the back, you're going to be poking up through. And whenever I'm on the top side, I'm going to be poking down. This stitch is called a running stitch. And it's a nice example of patterning. We're making a dotted line. So I've talked about different kinds of lines. And we can try some later today, but for now we're just going to be trying this running stitch. And see if you can get all the way over from one side to the other side. And we'll leave these hanging off for now. You can see how a different pattern is going to look a little bit different. Okay, I have one new stitch to show you. If you would like to try this stitch, this one is called the whip stitch. And so I'm going to start over here and I'm really close to the edge. You notice that? So I'm going to pull through. Don't want to pull too far through, so I'll bend. Keep that in place. Now, the whip stitch is different. Instead of going up and down like I did for the running stitch, I'm going to be going around. So I'm going to go around this edge. I'm whipping around. And I'm going to count over maybe two or three. Come up from the bottom. Pull. See how that's wrapped around the edge now? Okay, now I'm up on the top. I'm going to whip around. Okay, come up to the surface again. Okay, and now that I'm up the top, I'm going to whip around. And this makes a nice different type of stitch along the edge of our canvas. You can do different patterns for the whip stitch as well. You could try, you know, every two spaces, every six spaces, and they're going to create different lengths of stitches. All right. I think that is as far as I'll go for now. Okay. So, running stitch, whip stitch. Happy sewing!